Hello, my name is Anthea. I'm a registered nurse. I'm here with Tamika, and we will demonstrate how to withdraw medication into a 1.5 ml syringe. First, we would like to clean our workstation. By doing so, you can use warm or soapy water, or if you are in a hospital facility, you can use hospital-appropriate Santi cloth to use and clean off your working areas. We will collect our supplies that we'll need. We have our syringe, we have our blunt needle, our alcohol, and our medication, which we will place on our workstation. At this point, we will wash our hands. If you are not able to wash your hands, you can use alcohol approved sanitizer that you may have at home or in a hospital setting. dry it with a clean cloth. Now upon returning to your workstation, you will look at your valve and to, oh, you can also don your gloves as well. Depending on where you are, if you have access to gloves, which they do have at Walgreens if anything on sale, you can also pick that up. Not me giving out to Okay, wonderful. First, we will inspect our valve to make sure that the date is correct, that there aren't any broken particles, any floating pieces in there. If you see anything out of the normal for it, do not use it, discard it, or return back to your pharmacy if you are in a hospital setting. At this point, we'll connect our, we'll open up our syringe and prepare our workstation. And it's good to have your workstation at an appropriate working height for you as well. So we'll get our alcohol and we'll pop open the top of the medication valve and we'll scrub that gray area for at least 15 seconds. And then we'll assemble our syringe. So first we want to pull back air. We want to pull back the appropriate amount of 1.5. And then we'll remove the cap with the side. And we'll insert it to the medication with it down. Perfect. And then we'll insert the air while it's flat on there. Perfect. And then we will turn it upside down, make sure the bevel's up and in the water and the medication, and we'll pull back the appropriate amount of 1.5 mLs. Okay, keep going. And wonderful. At that time, we'll remove the syringe and we'll do the one scoop, one hand scoop method where you reinsert or recap it. Perfect, close it there. And at this time, you can adjust it to make sure there's not any air bubbles, that you add the appropriate amount to administer. Wonderful, do you feel comfortable with that amount? Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And we can place it back down. We can discard a ball of our waste and put whatever needs to be placed in the sharps container in the sharps container. Thank you so much to make it an awesome job. <laughs>